Hey guys, um, welcome back to my test world here. I'm going to show you how to make a seven segment display. Step by step. And it's called a uh, seven segment display because we're using seven segments of three torches. And these will be turned on and off together to form the numbers. So uh, you set up the torches like that, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we need to hook up these uh, groups of three uh, individually so that you can turn them out on and off uh, as a group. Start with the uh, left side here. Um, turn off that bottom torch right there, and uh, that's. Yeah, that one right there. And we'll put a, um, a couple blocks and a repeater here and a torch. So that'll turn off the bottom torch of, th of the three. To turn off the upper torch, we'll put uh, a couple blocks, again a repeater up against the the wool and uh, black wool and uh, oops, and some dust on top of that one to turn off the top, top torch. So that's the top and the bottom one. To turn off the middle one, it's a little bit more difficult, and uh, there's a couple ways to do it. The way I'm going to do it is um, first of all, God damn it. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, put a uh, hole right here uh, with some dust, and that dust uh, will turn off the torch, which is uh, on this block. Can't, can't see it, but it's on that block right there. And I went and put some black wool behind it so that you can't see through. It'll just be a black background when you're looking at it from the front. And to turn on that dust, we're going to uh, use a repeater to send power through that block. And then we're going to uh, put some dust on top of this block and a uh, block to the side there. So what's happening here is the torch is powering this block above it, which is sending power to the side, powering this dust. And that dust is powering this block here. And that block is powering the repeater, and the repeater is powering uh, the block, which is powering the dust, which is powering the other block, which is powering the torch. So, kind of a chain of uh, blocks there to get uh, what we need. And you have to uh, kind of do dust, then repeater, then dust. Uh, you can't just do dust, dust, dust or it won't send the power all the way through. So you have to power the dust, which powers the repeater, which powers the dust, which turns off the torch. On the uh, other side, we're going to just do this, the exact same thing, except it's going to be mirrored. And again, it's a repeater up against the, the face, the black hole, with a torch. Uh, some dust on top of the torch and a repeater up against the face. Uh, and then we're going to go back and uh, I need to uh, go like that. Um, put a hole and then some dust and then the uh, black wool And uh, hit the wrong button. Put a repeater here to send power into the black wool. Uh, dust back here, and remember you have to block these off to get that star shape, or it won't send the power to the side. And that is it. So that takes care of those three there. And before we get too far along, I should. Uh, send the power out so we can uh, do something with it. The purple one. Uh, put 
put some uh, levers out here on the end so we can test it on uh, dust from the levers and this is going straight into those torches so uh, when we turn the lever on it will turn off that torch which will turn on the uh, whoops destroy it there it'll turn on and off that segment that it's attached to and the same thing on this side alright so we've got two of them there um, to do the top one uh, let's change the color again They're right behind there. Um, actually, the way I did it on the other side is I did uh, it's a little weird. I put dust in the middle, and the reason I did it this way is to um, save some height. And I'll show you why here in a second. Um, I don't know why I did that at a block wall? So we're going to put dust in the middle one and repeaters into the side, and then dust going from the uh, the outside repeaters. Remember, you have to block that off, and then uh, some dust straight out. And then to power that, I'm going to uh, invert this so that it'll be the same. Uh, same power as the uh, the other two. All right. So when I turn the power um, off, when I turn this torch off, it uh, or when I turn it on rather, it turns on the dust, which will power this block underneath, powering this repeater, setting power to that block, powering the dust, powering the block, powering the torch, and the other ones uh, just have dust going into them, powering the the individual uh, torches on the other side. And the reason I, I did it this way is um, just to save some height. You could do it simpler by uh, um, just having three repeaters in a row and then having uh, a row of uh, blocks with some dust running across the top. And that would work just as well. It's just that now you have one extra block of height and if you wanted to make this the ceiling um, you couldn't, uh, whoops, yeah, you couldn't put that there because there's dust there, so you'd have to uh, go up an additional block. So that's kind of why I did a little bit, uh, did a little bit goofy. So again, uh, a repeater down the hole there with dust in front of it, and then uh, dust to the side. And then to, uh, I'm going to get this down. Let's see what I do. Go back one. And down. Oops, not that one. So then, uh, lever at the end. All right. So then, to control that uh, upper segment, turn on and off that lever. All right. We got uh, three. Um, now to do the. Uh, middle segment here. Let's change the color again. Um, mm. Going to uh, do it kind of the same. Well, it's a little different. Um, put a um, 
currently up here in the middle, is it? I did this. And then uh, Peter's on the outside. Uh, that's backwards. Put Peter's on the outside with Dust in the middle. And Dust on the outside on the second row with the repeater in the middle. And then I'll put. Uh, That and then when I'll my drape dust up above. Oops, I guess I gotta go up one, don't I? Make sure I did that right. Oh, I didn't do that right. What did I do over here? Oh, I did it. I did have it the other way. Yeah. Because uh, that way we'll have a hole in there. And, uh, yeah, that'll work. Alright, try this again. Repeater in the middle, and then one on the outside, and then dust on the other three. Alright, that works. Um, so the torch sends power um, directly through the dust down to the next block and over. And then uh, the the dust on top of these two blocks send uh, power sends power into the blocks, and then into the repeaters in the dust, and then into the torches or into the blocks and the torches. All right, and then again I want to uh, invert this. So that it's the same as the other ones. Let's see here. So if I put a torch there. That. So then when I flip that lever, it'll turn on that middle segment. Alright, so a little over halfway there. Uh, to do the uh, other two sides, they're going to mirror the uh, the ones above. Um, that's right. So again, the bottom one has a repeater and then a torch. And then above that, we're going to put dust and a repeater. And then coming out back, we're going to put one block there. Um, put a hole here. Nope, that could be one up from there. And, uh, oops. Dust in the hole. And, uh, Black wool, and then a repeater, some dust, and another blocker. So that takes care of the side, and uh, run that power out with a lever and some dust, and then the other side will be. Uh, uh, mirror it again. So two blocks there, two blocks there. Repeater, repeater. A torch and some dust. Oops. And then I'll put a hole here with some dust. Some black, black wool. Some dust, a repeater, and another blocker. Whoops. Got it. There we go. Alright, that takes care of that side. Double 
we'll check these. Um, that works for that one. And there's the other side. Alright, so for the bottom one, it's going to be uh, pretty much the same as the middle. Let's see, different wool. So a group of six there, and uh, the peters on the outside, then on the inside. Dust on the other ones. And then a row of blocks with some dust over the top. And a torch to invert them. And that should do it. All right, so that uh, you know, we have all the uh, individual segments uh, powered up or wired up, and now to make the uh, individual number segments, you just need to turn on and off the uh, the lines here in the in the proper pattern. So if you wanted to do the number uh, one, you would do the uh, two left sides or two right sides, I guess. So that would be the number one, and then uh, say you want to do uh, seven, just add the, uh, the one over the, the uh, oops, other side, the one going over the top. So there's seven, and then uh, just continue that. Uh, let's see, if we don't want to do nine, we'll do that one and that one. And then, of course, 8 would be everything. So, there we go. Now, how do you uh, uh, power these? Um, you can do it uh, any way you want to. Uh, the way I've been doing it is uh, I'll run uh, some lines parallel or perpendicular to these and uh, using torches, I'll uh, turn on, off, on and off the segments as I need. I'll show you how that's done here. So let's um, see here. Up one, yeah. So I'm going to have a line going across there and then another one over here, and these two will be um, connected together. Oops. And I'll probably just use a single torch here to uh, to wire them up so they work in unison. Alright, and then what I'll do is I'll put uh, torches everywhere that I want um, a segment to come on. So let's say I want to do uh, that's the top, um, and then the right side. left side and then uh, do the right side so that should be nine um, so it should have nine on there right now yep and then I'll run dust across the top here to control them all together Alright, so when the, um, the torch there is on, the uh, number is off, and then I just disable that torch and the number comes on. So you can turn that 
that torch on and off to display that number. And then you would uh, continue that by um, extending the uh, these uh, lines from the display out and then adding more um, segments, you know, up to 10, uh, 10 of these uh, dark green ones in, in parallel coming out uh, with each of the numbers on them. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And, uh, and then you can turn those on and off uh, when as necessary to make the individual numbers. And uh, you can hook these up uh, together. I've made it so that uh, these are stackable. Uh, you can set these next to each other and they will not interfere with the one uh, to the side. So you can stack them up in a display like that. Um, this really, uh, the way I have it wired in the back there, it only really works for a, a static display where you have each of the um, each of the numbers displaying one thing. Uh, to have these uh, each of these change independently is going, would be rather difficult to uh, wire up. I'll leave that up to you, but it, it is possible. But just the way I have it set up here is, again, I have all the uh, dis uh, the displays here with a, uh, a couple lines running um, perpendicular in each of these lines they have torches uh, that are uh, will turn on and off the respective segments so that it makes a particular message on the front so again this wouldn't <coughs> really work uh, as a calculator um, so to speak because you can't really turn each number, each display, um, to a different number, unless you did, you know, every possible combination running out there, which really wouldn't work. So, but this works for a static display, or individually, it'll turn on and off uh, numbers. But uh, you could wire it up uh, such that. Uh, so Uh, so that each uh, individual display is, is hooked up um, like this one here with uh, nine, nine more on the back of it and then you could control that individually but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys alright so there is a um, seven segment display um, stackable and uh, that's how you would uh, wire it up. Thanks for watching.